In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a couple of cool rabbit or bunny balloons. One is rather cuddly, the other one has a bit more of a cartoon look depending on your preference. Now we do have another video that teaches a couple of other rabbit balloons and you'll find the link below in the descriptions. So if you're ready to get those balloons going, let's get started. For this rabbit balloon, we're going to use a light color because you'll be drawing in the details. So I happen to be using white, but any uh, color balloon that's light colored will allow you to draw with a marker later to add some of the details. You'll need a white balloon and you'll need a scrap of a pink balloon that you'll use for the nose. So, inflate your balloon for the main bunny to about two inches from the end. You're going to start with a three balloon push through to make the snout. This one's gonna be about two inches. So we're gonna do three basic twists of about two inches each. Uh, there'll be a lock twist in the middle and we'll make that snout. Here we go. Now this third twist is going to be very, very tight. So a little tip I can offer you is to squeeze this next basic twist as you make it, which will make it a little narrower. And there you have a snout for your rabbit balloon. Now you're going to make a couple of ears and for these you can just make about, uh, you're going to make two basic twists of about four inches each. Lock twist. You can see the face of your balloon bunny or rabbit. Now we're going to go straight to the legs this will be a seated bunny if you like you can make it standing as you would a conventional dog balloon i think these balloons tend to look better seated so let's go straight to the legs you don't need to make a neck with this particular balloon so we're going to make a uh, front leg oh let's say about three inches lock twist make a body And now for the hind quarters, all you need is a little bit of end here for your little bunny tail. So all you're going to do is bend this in half, line the bunny tail up so it exceeds a little bit here, and then do your lock twist. See, so you have a bunny here. If you like, you can separate this one. Looks better if you have distinct legs. Tuck the front legs in. You could leave this as is, but you get kind of this uh, little bit of nodding with, the, um, with your nozzle end here. Um, and then of course you would just draw eyes on your, your rabbit on the sides here. And of course you have your ears. I think it looks better when you finish it with a pink balloon. So let's do that. I think the nose looks better when you have it seamless and you use the end of the balloon as opposed to the beginning where you have a nozzle. You have a nozzle on one end, you'll have a other balloon, a knot on the other end. It's just nicer to have it clean. So what I suggest doing is take your pink balloon, inflate it, and then move all the air to the end just by squeezing it and moving it up. So this is actually opposite of what you normally have when you inflate a balloon where the beginning of the nozzle is all inflated, but here uh, I've pushed everything to the end. And then all you have to do is make your small basic twist for a pink nose, tear off or cut off and discard the rest. Tie it in a knot.
and you're ready to attach it to your bunny. Simply take the end and insert it into the nose here. And there you have it, a bunny. Whereas the other balloons I recommended you use a light color, color in case you want to uh, use a marker to add details. In this one, you can make the bunny any color. So that's why I've just chosen blue because you're gonna actually, in fact, you probably won't want to make this a white balloon because you're going to actually be adding eyes that will be white and it's nice to have i think a little contrast get your balloon inflate it to maybe three inches from the end you're going to start with a three balloon push through about uh, two inches so, uh, so a little tip here is if you squeeze down a little bit it'll make these a little softer and easier to make the three balloon push throughs because this is rather tight here uh, when you make a balloon push through this small. There you have a three balloon push through. Now we're gonna make a couple of ears. Three to four inches long. Uh, just make two basic twists and a lock twist. It's pretty much just as you did with the first bunny balloon. Now here comes the difference. Inflate a white balloon, you're gonna make two basic twists. Small ones, about an inch in diameter. And now connect the nozzle to the twist over here. and cut off and discard the rest. Might have to tie a knot here, which is fine. Now these are gonna form eyes. So what you do is just Place it at the top of the three balloon push through. As you can see, this one gets a little more of a cartoon look. You might want to put a uh, pinch twist in the back just to straighten things out just a little bit. The pinch twist adds a little stabilization in the back so the head stays in the correct position. Now, as you've done before, we're just gonna make a body. You can make this one seated. I think it looks better seated. So we're gonna go directly to the front legs. A little body. And just bend this in half. Estimate the center. Make a leg there, and remember to allow a little bit for the tail. Insert the legs into the front legs into the back legs. And there you have it, a cartoon style bunny. Well, were you successful in making your rabbit balloons? And did you prefer the cuddly and cute? Or did you prefer the more cartoon style version of rabbit? Anyway, please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe because we have a lot more instructional videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.